welcome back to Fun Stuff Crafts. I've got another fun project for us to do today. I've kind of been going on a theme of upcycling. And um, as you guys have probably heard me talk about in other videos before, I love to go up to our local Habitat for Humanity um, store and look at what I can use to do my upcycling. Well, next month they're having a upcycle block party. And so I've been working on some items um, for that party. And my son brought me home this cute little window um, frame, and it's got a little um, tray here. Um, all I've done with it so far is put a coat of white chalk paint on it, and so I just cleaned it up. So now I'm trying to decide what I should be uh, making with it. So I got to thinking, and I thought maybe a message center might be a cute idea. So I had my husband cut me a piece of wood. I was thinking about putting it right here in the middle and then adding on some cork. And so we'll have a cork center. Um, so that was one idea I had. And then I picked up some of this, I call it chicken wire, but it's called wire accent. Um, and I've cut a couple pieces here and I was gonna put it on um, the top and the bottom, and then we can use the little clothespins to hook things on, and then push pins for the cork section. So, give me a second to get my camera angle changed, and we'll get making on this. So, the first step um, we're going to be working on is taking that piece of um, wood that I told you my, I had my husband cut for me, and we're going to adhere a piece of cork to it. Now, um, I've already measured the piece of wood and it fits in perfect in that center section of my frame. And so I am going to just take this cork and I'm going to measure it up um, really carefully. And I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. Um, love my Cricut X-Acto knife. And I am going to cut through the cork, just being very carefully here. And I am using my Cricut mat also that is a self-healing mat. So it works out really nice. So I just slowly go through that. So I've got that cut. So it fits there perfect, but there's a little edge still on this side. So I just need it to be the exact size of the wood. And so just go through it a couple times, the cork. And there we have it nice and clean and it is the exact size of my piece of wood now okay so put the lid on the exacto knife so we don't cut ourselves get rid of our scraps and now we are going to take some glue and we are going to glue that on now I'm just using a leans tacky glue um, you can choose what type of glue you want I just find this one works really well. And then I just want to spread it really evenly. So um, just using the foam brushes. And let me tell you, I buy these by the bag full. Um, they're so inexpensive and they just work out so nice for projects like this. So I want to make sure I get enough glue on there um, so it's adhered really well. So that's why I'm taking the lid off and just using my paintbrush to do it. Use Gorilla Glue um, sometimes too. Some people use um, the um, 6000 glue. So whatever glue works or that you um, like to use would be fine. Just make sure you read the directions that it is one that will work with the materials you're using. And so we've got a piece of wood here and we've got a piece of cork. So the whole idea is, is that I get that on nice and good and Got that done. Oops. Try to find a place that I can lay my paintbrush. And then I'm just going to take my cork and I am going to just press down on it really well. And then I'm just going to put it off to the side. I'm actually going to put it underneath something so there's some pressure on it to help dry that glue. So, just got my Gemini machine over here off to the side. 
So I'm actually just going to put that off to the side. So the next thing we're going to do is, I told you I had this, I call it chicken wire. It's called accent wire that you can buy. I picked this up off of Amazon. Actually went to Home Depot looking for it and they definitely had this size of wire in the chicken wire section, um, but you have to buy such big bulk. And so I just went ahead and picked this up um, at Habitat. Oh, excuse me, not Habitat. I picked this up at Amazon um, and it's just wire accent um, and it comes um, 18 inches by um, 39 inches. So um, that's what I'm using for this part of the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to turn my window upside down. I had looked at this and I was trying to decide if the best place to put the wire would be on the inside or on the back. And I think the back is going to be my best bet. So we are just going to take it. And it's a little bit longer than what I need. But I want to start with this. And I'm going to take a staple gun, and I'm actually just going to staple right to the back. So I have my staple gun here, and I'm literally just going to staple the wire right to the back. So you just want to make sure you adhere it good. And just make sure you get your staple that it goes around the wire so it stays really well. And I'm going to have to trim off that end over there, but I just wanted to get this secure so I know exactly how much to trim. So I am good right there. Let me get one more in here. Okay. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy little clippers that I just love and I am going to just clip off that excess there and then I'll just finish So as you can see now, it's kind of hard, I'm going to turn it upside down, but you can see I've got my wire all in that section, and now we're going to go ahead and do the next section. So we're going to cut that wire, cut it the same size, so we'll have to trim off that one piece, lay it flat, get my staple gun out. And I'm just picking up those wires, making sure that I'm catching a good part of the wire, catching the middle section there, and making sure my wire is flat. Hoping I don't run out of staples here. going to trim that edge again. Add that little piece, put that in the garbage. And, and there you have it. We have got this. I'm going to step back so you guys can kind of see it. But now I have got that with both sections. So the next step that I'll want to do is take my cork piece, which I have, and I'm going to want to adhere it right in the center. And with that, I'm actually going to take small nails 
and just put right here in each one of these corners to adhere it. So we're going to wait a few minutes till this is a little bit drier and then um, I'll be right back with you and we'll attach this on there also. So I'll, let's just give it a few minutes to dry and then we'll finish this project. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I've just got these really small nails. I can hardly see there. Very small nail right there. And we are just going to put them in each of the four corners. Careful not to get my fingers in there. But I'm going to put them in the four corners and then on the top there. the glue in there already so this is just really going to help hold this pork to the board and to the frame. Sorry I see I'm making the camera go because I am hammering on the same part that I have my camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. So now, let me adjust this frame up a little bit so you can see what we've got, and we have got a finished little project. So what I have here is some of these cute little little tiny paper clips, and let me just grab a picture here can put on and show you how this might look. So if I take my board, I can either put it there or I can put it there. And we can have all kinds of different things hanging on our new board. So thanks for joining me for another craft. And here's our finished product our upcycled message board center. Thanks for joining me at Fun Stuff Crafts. And again, if you liked what we did today, please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time for another fun craft.